This article here is from the New York Post. It's called Meghan Markle Fake Podcast Interviews, Her Voice Added Later from Sources from June 19th, 2023. And I found this one, once again lately, kind of interesting. The news about Meghan and Harry was kind of flatlined for me for a while, but some interesting things are coming up now. Let's see what they got. Just after Spotify's breakup with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, a new report alleges that Markle's interviews for her Archetypes podcast were not conducted by her. Pod News reported that some of the show's interviews were done by members of the Duchess's staff and audio of her voice asking the questions was clipped in later. The Post has reached out to representatives for Margle and Artrell Audio for comment. They say these comments come after Spotify and Archwell mutually agreed to part ways. Maybe could it be that she actually was faking it and they found that out and they weren't comfortable continuing? That is a possibility. That is something to think about and could actually be an explanation. The source previously told the Post that the Archwell Media Company launched by Harry 38 and Megan 41 didn't produce enough content to receive the full payout of the $20 million deal they agreed to in 2020. What a surprise. We heard other reports that Harry was having trouble thinking of things. Well, I wasn't totally sure if that was true. It was someone's word on it, but that would make sense also. They couldn't get the money because Harry didn't have ideas, Mega didn't have ideas, and they needed help getting ideas. Then they mentioned this guy, Bill Simmons, who they say slammed the couple in the wake of a fractured deal saying he once met Harry about his podcast ideas and calling the pair effing grifters. That's what I was talking about. This guy Simmons said he had to help Harry think of ideas and he just said that obviously it's his word against Harry's word but the fact that Spotify canceled gives his word credence and they cancel because low content. Makes sense. They show a little picture of it. Eh, it looks nice enough on the surface, but also it looks very pre-planned. It doesn't look organic. Speculation that Markle doesn't directly interview her guests started circulating when writer Allison Yarrow shared on Instagram in August that she was excited to be included in the Visionary series. Yet the post showed Yarrow posing in front of a sign for the audio production house Gimlet Media and included a thanks to Archetype's producer for being an excellent interviewer. There you go. They give some info on her, not so interested, and then they say Yara's explanations and comments were edited and interwoven between comments from the Duchess of Sussex in the podcast audio the Daily Mail reported in November. They say the deal happened two and a half years ago, and they've got only 12 episodes. Well, compare that to, like, a YouTuber. I do two videos a day. I have been for at least two and a half years, maybe one sometimes, I rarely even skip a single day, maybe once every few months or something like that. I just can't get to it. But 12 episodes, so she's got 12 episodes in two and a half years. I gotta side with Spotify on this one, guys. Even though they're the corporation and everything, they seem like they've got a good argument here. They say she had some celebs on. Serena Williams, Paris Hilton, Jamela Jamal, Jamela Jamal, people like that. Okay, and still, she couldn't, like, get more content out? I never even heard of this podcast until the media talked about it and how sour it's been getting, and how the deal's bad, and that kind of thing. And they end with this. The audio clips of the experts have been cut and interwoven between audio of Markle, so it's not clear whether she spoke to any or all of the experts herself. And that's the point. Imagine that. Imagine a YouTuber you watch, or a celeb you watch, and you find out, They weren't even actually doing the interview. Why watch them? What's the point? You're just putting something together, once again, using your name and your claim to fame by marrying a royal and hoping people just buy this very, very mediocre product. And they got a ton of comments. This person here says, It seems it's finally caught up with them. The last two months have shined a much brighter and harsher light on this couple, confirming them as disingenuous. The Spotify debacle pretty much seals the deal in that regard, as did South Park, by the way. They both deserve every bit of karma they're getting. I hope the late great Queen Elizabeth is smiling down on them. I guess she meant in kind of a sarcastic little smile or something. Because obviously, she's negative about the karma comment. And this person, William, says, The entertainment industry loves to raise people up because knocking them down from so high is just so much more profitable. 
And in most cases, I'd agree that, hmm, what's going on here? The corporations versus celebrity. Usually I'd start with the celeb because they're the smaller entity and the corporations are more greedy. But in this case, I just got to say, I think they didn't have the content. They didn't have the ideas like usual. And the comments go down and down and down. This person, Freckly Bangers, says, Dior said, nope, this isn't happening. Already called her out. So you probably heard recently, Meghan Markle got called out by Dior on some fake news that got around that she was going to have a deal with them. Not sure if Meghan personally spread those words, but you know, most likely PR and things like that. But that's not happening. No, no, no. She's not getting no 20 million from Dior like some other people we know. And this person here speculates what I speculated about, about the Dior, is that she probably wore Dior and said great things about them because she's in the spotlight there and she's hoping she gets a deal with them. I'm not sure if she's a real fan, but that's my opinion. No way to really know. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Shout out to Laura B, Cindy Bryden, Beatrix Kid on Twitter, giving me some great content I'm covering here once in a while. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be really sad about it, but I'll get over it. See you next time.